what's up so the weekend is here it is sunday uh the weather has been absolutely terrible in denver it's just been raining and hailing like crazy it seems like we're gonna have a nice day today or at least i hope so we're gonna take the opportunity to go ahead and try and detail the miata i am no detailing expert however youtube has helped me and has given me some information we're gonna make sure it looks good so when someone say uh sees it they say wow i want to buy that spend about 50 bucks on detailing products so now the goal is to just i'm at a local car wash we're gonna do a rinse here and then i'm going to go home and continue thinner for quite a lot of things as far as taking little scuffs and things off from what I can tell it doesn't damage paint you definitely don't want to leave it on there uh, on a hot day like this it immediately evaporates but still uh, you want to make sure to rinse it and that's what I'm using to get this this stripe residue off I had these security stickers on the side that were all faded and terrible nice looking glass goes kind of a long way so we're gonna get rid of uh, we're gonna get rid of both of those all right so those are removed from the windows. I think it looks way better. And next, I'm going to do a little detail under the hood. I think it's gonna go a long way. Okay, so clearly uh, doing all that creates a bit of a mess around the car, which is why I wanted to do that first. So now that under the hood is done and I've uh, you know removed the stripe, I got some of the chemicals on the paint and all that, now I'm going to go ahead and wash it and I'm just going to do a thorough wash on the car, uh, work on the wheels, and then after that, we're gonna bring it in and clay bar it. I'm really not a detailing expert, and a lot of this is for my own uh, practice. Uh, I think we can make this car look better. All right, so here's the front wheel. I use a little bit of steel wool and the uh, Meguiar's hot rim and tire, whatever, and then we have the old so as you can see big difference these are old ugly wheels and we'll be okay all right by polishing those wheels up it, it really just helps the car by leaps and bounds with the wheels the engine bay is looking cleaner and we got rid of that stripe so um, even before washing it we are looking way way better I'm gonna go ahead and wash it gonna do a nice thorough hand wash then when that's done we're gonna get it inside and we're gonna clay bar it and then we are going to do probably some polishing and then we're gonna finish it off with that uh, spray on wax okay, my method for washing cars is pretty simple this is where my soap goes and my towels and then I will wipe the car off and then I will rinse it in a clean rinse bucket and then go back to the soap and then when that's done, I will go ahead and just uh, dry it off with a chamois. So here we go. So we're done washing it, looks a 
lot better. Uh, so I'm gonna get it in here, let it sit for a little bit and cool off, and then move on to clay bar. All right, so rain is moving in. Uh, I'm trying to drive to a place where it looks like uh, it's not going to rain. Uh, I took the hard top off because the hard top is not being sold with the car. So I just want to get get pictures of this thing as it is, you know, as it would be for uh, the person buying it. So I'm gonna go try and set up a photo shoot real quick. Just sold the Miata flip to a young kid he's just looking uh, to have a project car which is really awesome that's basically why I wanted to buy the car was so that uh, the car would go to someone who was going to love it and have fun with it and enjoy it rather than I don't know any old schmuck with uh, you know a couple grand or worse, you know, it would sit and rot and then the program, my school would, you know, tear it apart and use it for God knows what. But yeah, that's awesome. I think those <laughs> that kid is going to have a blast with that car. Uh, I mean, you can already tell he's in love with it and I think he, he has some plans to work on it a little bit. It's like his first project car, you know. It's, so it begins, little does he know, five years later he's going to be broke. So they're, they're taking it around the block and going for a drive. I now only have one car and uh, it's a little scary. I don't think I fully trust that thing to, to be my daily, but it's certainly not comfortable. It's stiff and loud and everything, but um, it is what it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the money. We'll see. They're gonna get pulled over. There goes Miata, happy kid. It's awesome. That made me so happy. That kid is so stoked to get that car and that is exactly why I do this. Selling is helping. People have this stigma that selling is trying to, to rip people off and you know trick people into giving you more money than something's worth. But to me, sometimes in this case, it's about taking something uh, from a poor situation and putting it in good hands so feel good it was pretty awesome so all right thanks for watching leave a comment down below like or subscribe if you feel it uh, if you want to see more content like this let me know share your thoughts thanks